Hey, what's up guys? Center Stalker here for a video. This video right here is me just uh, going doing some stuff around town, but first I need to get a little haircut. So I'm gonna go get a haircut over here and I'll come to the place I always go to is right behind those trees over there. Before I do that, I'm gonna get a little snackage at this place, North Park Produce. I haven't eaten since this morning. All I had was like a couple of Eggo waffles and a coffee. It's now like 2.30. So I definitely need some nourishment. So I'm gonna go over here get a little snack, then get a haircut. I gotta get this proper looking, you know what I mean? And get the beard looking right too. So it's going here right now, pretty cool. Mediterranean, you know, Chaldean market, elegant snacks and stuff. So it's going there. And also then this video, I have a one movie review, so check out for that. One Blu-ray just came out today actually, so check out for that in this video now. Let's go here and get a snack. So you're in the market, it's like it's pretty busy right now. So I'm gonna go this way. And it's like it's like I said, it's like uh, like you know, Chaldean type foods. Iraqi type foods, like Mediterranean stuff, that kind of deal. They have like really good, like fresh baked, like uh, goods here, like breads and things and stuff like that. I'll show you guys over here. I'm gonna get one of these guys. Probably gonna get one of those. I had them before. It's really, it's like melted cheese. It's almost like a Chaldean quesadilla. But look at that. They got the fresh baked breads. Like, what? Not go wrong with that. Super good. Smells amazing in here. All the fresh, like, non bread and things like that. Super, super good. Like two hours and forty-eight cents. I got this. I have no idea what it's called. Like it's like it's just like melted. Like, I think feta cheese and like some sort of like basil and stuff on there. It's really good. I'll show you in a bit what it, how, how it's kind of super good. I get like a little this thing called like a meat roll. I have no idea what that is. It's like, it's like a stuffed meat spiced egg roll kind of thing. Chaldean style. I'm gonna have this right now. Oh man, it's still only two bucks. Like what? There you go. I kind of took a piece of it off. Let's go chew this bad boy, huh? Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So good. Man, awesome. So it's like a Chaldean quesadilla. Super, super good. All right, a little bit better lighting right here, not so bright. Now I'll try this thing called a meat uh, a meat roll. Not a meat pie, I said a meat, uh, I think I said meat pie earlier. Meat roll. Mmm. Really good. Really good spices in there. Good flavor, awesome. Mmm, finish these up. My snacks, that was really, really good. Now I'm gonna get my hair cut on right over there. It's where I go. So I hope my, my dude looks okay after I'm done. We'll find out. Next time you see me, I have the haircut and my beard trimmed up. Oh yes, see you in a sec. Ooh, I just like that magic of editing and my hair is all done now. Oh man. So yeah, there we go. Got the Sinindu beard trimmed up. Bam. You wanna get the Sinindu, just go over this spot right over here. Tony's Barber and Beauty Salon. Well, I forgot the name of it for a second. Go there and get the Cinedu. Oh, yeah. But now, off to see what's next. Oh, yes. Got it. So damn bright. As I'm in the car, I got all these little hairs over me. Look at this. Oh, my God. All these little hairs. Only problem with that. Hairs over my face. Ah. All right, next spot right here. I'm hitting up the comics and stuff over in El Cajon. This place is pretty cool. Because you have actually good stuff in here. Unlike the other comic book shop I went to, I think a week ago, this place actually has pretty neat stuff. Been here for a while. That like uh, retro toys, I think Pangorias, things like that. And really cool murals on the wall, as you can see, all kinds of characters. So let's go in there right now. Like I said, I haven't been in this place in probably like, I don't know, maybe four months or five. So let's go here and check it out. See if they got anything new. As I'm looking around, I see this from my first walk in Stranger Things Ego card game. That's awesome. <laughs> And also they get these killer like little pillows. Check these out. They got Chucky, Jason, and Freddy Krueger. Watch out if they all fall on me. Pretty rad. I think they're like, not bad, like $16.99. Those are really, really cool. And you got this too. Thundercats. Lino. That's badass. There's a talking Pee Wee Herman doll in the box. I think it's like for $49.99. I think that's a good deal for it. I don't know. I think so. That is pretty awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Friday 13th Jason figurine. You can sorry see with the glare, but that's pretty cool. This spot's a lot better than the spot I went to like a week ago. I actually have neat and cool things here to, to, to get and whatnot. And so they got all these cards behind here, like you got Kiss, you got um, what was that? Ricky Martin, WCW NWO, Garbage Pill Kids, all that stuff. A bunch of goodies all up in here. Throwback cards in D like that. Hook, Howard the Duck, bunch of goodies. It's like old and early 90s X-Men figurines and toys. Check this out. That is so cool from 
Toy Biz. You can look at the year from 1994. Ain't that some retro goodness? Not bad, 10 bucks. Look at that thing, pretty cool. Check this out, Cyborgs. This thing. Cyborg Pigs, I guess? Cyborgs, sounds so familiar. I think I vaguely remember this. I have no idea what year this is even from. 96, you can see right there. It sounds so familiar. That's pretty funny, those Cyborgs. Here I'm in the magazine section. See if they put the new old Fangoria's out. Um, Here's the S, should be somewhere over here. Let's see what we got. Now it's the G. What the heck is going on with the Fangori? Um, see if they got anything new, old, you know what I'm saying? I have that. Don't have that, that's still pretty cool. Came in the cover. Nope. Don't need that. No. I think that's it. Just left comics and stuff. I didn't get anything in there. I was asking if they had any movies in the back to buy, but they did not. The location has that stuff is the one at the mall. I'm not going to go over there right now. Now let's go to somewhere else around town. God, I'm kind of itchy with all this thing. Hair from getting the haircut. I hate that. And now I'm at the thrift shop. The same one I would get the board games at over there. Look, there's nothing over there. So now I'm just over here at the uh, VHSs and movies to see what is over here. Just about that's something here's something that kind of like garbage. But I figured I was in the area. I might as well go check it out and see. So this might be really quick in here, even though I was here like two weeks ago or something like that. So it's kind of real brief for me to come back here, but let's see what they got. Let's see if they have anything new and different. Try the same kind of garbage. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Look at this thing. What's this? Black Ninja Ninja Terminator. That sounds kind of cool and intriguing. The Mar Warriors of the Martial Arts. Look at this guy doing some like weird crane technique thing. Look at that. They're all like sealed up. Take these out one handed right there. Skills. Let's see what these look like. Bruce Levy Missy, some sort of like, I don't know what this is, a documentary on it? And you get this Ninja Enforcer. He's like low budget covers. Is that Jean Claude Van Damme? That sort of looks like him with, a, with like a mustache, like a porn stash. Ninja Terminator sounds pretty rad. Weak looking cover, so it's gonna be like really crazy, but it's not. Maybe I'll get this just because of this, it sounds intriguing. What is this called? Black Ninja. That, so it's that one dude. He's as much as like American Ninja movies. Look at his name, but he's really good in a bunch of flicks. Pretty cool. We covers, but pretty cool looking. Maybe I'll get this in a set. I don't know what's going for. Maybe like a buck or something? A couple bucks? I don't know. Maybe. All right, so I just saw the trailer to Ninja Terminator, and it is super cheesy. Go do yourself a favor. Go on YouTube. Look up Ninja Terminator. It is so bad. So cheese ball. Yeah, it's, it's worth getting for a couple of bucks. I'm not sure how much this costs. Probably two bucks, but it's worth getting because it's super... Super bad, super cheese. I love that. Yeah, Ninja Terminator. Yeah, it's so bad, but good. Yes. I right, just so left the thrift shop. I did get that Ninja box. It's in there. It was like a couple of bucks. God, I got the sun everywhere in my face today. I can't see nothing. But now off to somewhere else. Whew. All right, I'm back. And I actually went home real quick. I had to wash my hair. That was so damn itchy with the hairs all over my face. So I get the shower hair look going on. She just hate that when you wash your hair. And it gets kind of like soft in the pain of butt to, to style up, but it's oh well. It's just, it is what it is. It's cool. So now I feel new shirt on, better, and I need a drink now after that. So I'm gonna go to this spot, which I've been to for a while. Good old UFO themed intergalactic brewery. You can sort of see it right there up here magically. Intergalactic brewery. This place is supposed to be out of business, I heard. But I guess some people invested into it, so now it's not a business. It's a really cool science fiction UFO themed brewery here in town in Miramar. Gotta love that UFO theme brewery. Rad, I've been in this place in a good while. I think I did one video here one time before, maybe a year ago or so, but let's go in here now. Check it out, see if it looks the same or not. I don't know, we'll find out. We have all the cool, you know, posters and stuff. Like I think I showed this before. I love that Rocketeer one, Fire Strikes Back. Hell, they all look good. Here goes the menu. I'm gonna get the uh, robotic order. Yeah, she's got the cool like link lamps, like BB-8, R2-D2, those lamps are great. I love how this looks, this whole top looks awesome. Time to drink this. Mm. That's a good porter. Nice, smooth, really good. Right now, movie review right 
about now. The movie I'm going to talk about right now is by MVD Entertainment. Is this one abominable? Will be a good little movie right here about this a, a Bigfoot, pretty much a Bigfoot monster flick, horror flick. You know, has uh, starring Scream Queen Tiffany Shepis is in this flick, and has Jeffrey Combs in it also and that kind of thing. Pretty much about this guy named Preston Rogers, the guy right over here. And um, he's in this, like he's a paraplegic, had an accident, his wife died. So he goes back to the cabin where she had a bad accident at and died, like doing this like mountain climbing trip. He goes back there to face his demons and stuff. And in doing so, he's kind of like this voyeur. You know, this is these girls, like Tiffany Shepis and her group of girls, go to a cabin next door for like a little vacation thing. He's sort of like a voyeuristic guy, almost like, you know, uh, rear window, um, Alfred Hitchcock's rear window in a sense, because he's like, he has like binoculars, he's kind of nosy. So he was going to next door with these girls. He sees stuff that goes on. He kind of some weird things that happen there, and no one really believes him. But there's like a, this crazy Bigfoot creature he sees it's on the loose. You know, kills one of the girls there, so he tries to contact this girl named Karen through like a cell. Phone. He tries to scream over there to get their attention so they can all get out of the house. No one really believes him, but this one girl named Karen does, and so they find out later on there's actually a Bigfoot on the loose. This crazy abominable Bigfoot creature on the loose trying to kill people there in the woods. So this is a fun movie made in 2005. Um, it's a cool little horror flick about a big fest and comedy in it too. I also got Lance Hanks in this flick right here. He's right over there and try trying to hunt down the beast itself then, but you know, try to hunt down this Bigfoot creature, him and his crew. This is a fun, cool, funny, uh, gory kind of movie. Nothing crazy gory, but a nice little gore thing right there. That's a fun, fun flick. Well, so you want to get this right now, it is out now. Link down below if you want to get this movie at. Really great on Blu-ray, looks awesome. It's a fun watch, I haven't watched this thing in a long time. Really fun watch, cool Bigfoot flick. If you like you know, monster kind of movies, kind of fun movies, good popcorn flick, you'll definitely enjoy Abominable. It is now nighttime again, like my last video. I was out doing some stuff, went to the gym and stuff like that, just a few things. And actually, a last minute trip is planned now, in the works, next couple of days, a little road trip to with my girlfriend, Diana. So look out for that next couple of days. Should be a fun little road trip. I won't tell you guys now what I'm, like, where we're going. But it should be fun. It'd be really, really cool. And her first time going to this area. So it should be fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If you want to get Abominable, link down below for that flick right there. Nice little fun monster flick, Bigfoot style. So yeah, there it is. Now time for me to go to bed and head home. So yes, I'll catch you later. A little dark and creepy out here. Not too bad. I'll see you.